In this video, we're going to begin taking a look at i and exponents on i. It is important to remember that i is defined as the square root of negative 1. With that in mind, we'll first look at i to the 0 power. We've seen variables risen to the 0 power before, and we know that anything to the 0 power is always equal to 1. So i to the 0 must also equal 1. i to the first is nothing special. We can just ignore that exponent and write it as i. But i squared is going to take the square root, and it's going to square it. With square and square root being inverses, all that's going to be left is the negative 1 that is inside the radical. For this reason, i squared is negative 1. And this is probably the most important exponent that we know and recognize on i. i squared is equal to negative 1. If we were to multiply both sides of this equation by i, we would get i cubed equals negative 1 times i, or negative i. These are the four cyclic uh, exponents on i that we need to be able to recognize. i to the 0 is equal to 1. i to the first is just i i squared is negative 1, that's the big important one, and i cubed is the same as negative i. In this way, we can simplify the exponents on i to some expression without any exponents. And this cycle will repeat through, i to the 4th then will be the opposite of i squared. Well, i squared is negative 1, and the opposite of negative 1 is 1, and you notice we're back to the beginning of the series. So really, there's only these four that we need to know, and we can use that to simplify things like i to the 35th, or i to the 134th, or 24th. In order to evaluate these, we will rewrite them by dividing the exponents by 4 to see how many times we cycle through that series of 1i, negative 1, negative i. When we do 35 divided by 4, we know 4 goes into 35 8 times. When we subtract 32, we see it's 8 with a remainder of 3. We cycle through 8 times, and then there's 3 steps left, meaning that i to the 35th is the same as i to the 3rd. And we saw on that previous page that i to the 3rd is negative i. This means i to the 35th is also negative i. So in summary, to evaluate i to some exponent, we divide the exponent as 4, and use the remainder as the new exponent on i. So with i to the 124th, we divide 4 into 124 to see how many times we cycle through the entire series. 4 goes into 12 3 times. Bring down the 4, 4 goes into 4 once. And the remainder we see is 0. This means i to the 124th is the same as i to the 0, using the remainder as the new exponent, and we know anything to the 0 power is 1. So i to the 124th power will also equal 1. By dividing the exponent by 4, and using the remainder as the new exponent, we can quickly evaluate any power of i into either 1, i, negative 1, or negative i.